Hi, my name's Sue Cowley, and one of my best known books is called Getting the Bugs to Behave. It's interesting because it's being translated into about 10 different languages. And what's always fascinating is the way they choose to translate the title. I'm not entirely sure how it translates into Spanish or Mandarin, but that's always a bit of a challenge, I think, for the translators. Now, this book has been in print for about 15 years now. It's in its fifth edition. And there does seem to be something timeless about the advice that's in it. I wonder if that's because it's really, really practical. It's down to earth. And most of all, it's honest. When it comes to behavior, one of the things you'll have realized as a teacher is that it's all very well saying, if you just did this, if you just used that system, if you just gave them this type of detention or that type of punishment, everything would be fine. But that ignores the reality. And the reality is that we all misbehave, even as adults. One of the things I do when I'm working with teachers and I'm talking to them about behavior is I ask them to analyze their own motivations for misbehaving. And I say to them, have you ever broken the law? And there'll be a few nervous looks and then a few hands go up. And then I'll say, well, I'm gonna rephrase that question. Do you drive a car? And loads of hands go up. Now, of course, those of us who drive cars have a habit of breaking the speed limit, especially when we're on the motorway. So I talk them through a little scenario where they're driving down the motorway and they're going at 85, 90, very naughty, breaking the law. And we talk about all the reasons why they're doing that. And those reasons why they're doing it correlate almost exactly to the reasons why your kids misbehave in your classrooms, because you want to have a thrill because you're a bit of a rebel, because nobody's watching, because everybody else is doing it. So even as adults, our behavior changes according to the context that we're in and the kind of levers that people put on us. And I think perhaps one of the reasons why the book has been so successful is that kind of honesty. You know, this is just how it is. These are the strategies you can use. Be creative, be flexible, have high expectations, but understand that children aren't gonna turn into Stepford children just because you told them what the rules are and what the punishment might be. I often meet people who read the book maybe eight, 10 years ago, and somebody said to me the other day, I read your book and it actually changed the way I taught forever. And as an author, that is quite possibly the biggest compliment I have ever received. So I hope if you read the book or if you have read the book, that it has actually had a direct impact on what you do with your children in your classroom, and particularly on how, not easy, because teaching will never be easy, but on how well you can cope when behavior causes you stress.